Welcome to day 9 of the 100 day challenge. By now, has English become a bit more familiar to you? In addition to just watching the videos, are you consistently practicing making sentences on your own? Starting today, I've decided to focus more on the vocabulary part, allowing you to concentrate on the words we use each day. Watch the video till the end and make sure to incorporate today's words into your own vocabulary. Listen carefully. 1. Company. Present tense. Positive. I appreciate the company you provide during our team meetings. Negative. I dislike his company, he's always so negative. Question. Does she often keep you company during lunch? Past tense. Positive. Yesterday, he kept me company while I was working late. Negative. She never kept him company during the long hours at the office. Question. Did they keep you company at the event last night? Future tense. Positive. Next week, we will have the pleasure of your company at the conference. Negative. I don't think I will enjoy their company at the upcoming gathering. Question. Will you keep me company at the networking event tomorrow? Use of modal verbs. Positive. You can always seek my company whenever you need support. Negative. You shouldn't have his company he tends to be unreliable. Question. Can I join you for lunch and keep you company? 2. Pick up. Present tense. Positive. He always picks me up at 900 sharp, without fail. Negative. I don't like how he picks up his clothes and leaves them on the floor. Question. Do you usually pick up groceries on your way home? Past tense. Positive. Yesterday, I picked up a new skill during the workshop. Negative. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up on the subtle hints they were giving. Question. When did you pick up on the fact that they were not interested? Future tense. Positive. Tomorrow, I will pick up the keys to the new apartment. Negative. I don't think he will pick up the tab for dinner tonight. Question. Will you pick me up from the airport next week? Use of modal verbs. Positive. You can always pick up extra hours if you need more income. Negative. You shouldn't pick up someone else's belongings without permission. Question. Can you pick up some snacks on your way home? 3. Make up. Present tense. Positive. She always makes up for her mistakes by working extra hard. Negative. He never makes up for his tardiness, and it's becoming a problem. Question. Do you often make up excuses for being late? Past tense. Positive. Last week she made up the missed lecture by attending the makeup class. Negative. Unfortunately, he didn't make up for the lost time and fell behind in the project. Question. Did you make up with your friend after the disagreement? Future tense. Positive. Tomorrow, I will make up for the cancelled meeting by rescheduling it. Negative. I don't think he will make up for the missed deadline. Question. Will you make up the work you missed during the vacation? Use of modal verbs. Positive. You can always make up for a bad day by doing something you enjoy. Negative. You shouldn't make up stories to cover up your mistakes. Question. Can I make up for the inconvenience by offering you a discount? Before beginning our set peaking practice, let's learn some new vocabulary, today's keyword, to improve our English skills. Company. Company as a noun denotes a collective of individuals or an organized entity with a shared objective, typically within a business framework. When used as a verb, company signifies the act of socializing, accompanying, or remaining in a specific location, often involving interaction with friends, colleagues, or associates. 
More detailed explanation. 1. Accompaniment or being together. Example. Do you want some company? The term company implies having someone to accompany or spend time with, expressing a desire not to be alone and seeking the companionship of others. In this context, company typically refers to a person or a group. 2. Socializing or conversing as friends or colleagues. Example. I enjoy your company. The word company conveys the idea of companionship, engaging in conversation, or sharing experiences with a specific individual. Here, company denotes the relationship or social interaction with that particular person. 3. Business or organization. Example. I have company. In this context, company refers to a business or organization, indicating association or collaboration with a specific entity or group. Company can have the following meanings. 1. Enjoying each other's company or accompanying each other. Example 1. She enjoys company, so she decided to accompany me to the party. Example 2. We often accompany each other on our weekend outings. 2. Staying in a certain place. Example 1. The cat decided to keep me company while I was working in the garden. Example 2. I like to have music to keep me company when I'm cooking. Pick up. Pick up encompasses a range of actions based on context, such as fetching, obtaining, noticing, learning, improving, or resuming. More detailed explanation. 1. To pick someone up at a specified time. Example. Pick me up at 900 sharp. Pick up means to go and fetch someone at the agreed upon time, indicating someone going to pick up another person in a vehicle at a designated time. 2. To go buy or fetch something. Example. I'll go pick up some coffee. In this context, pick up implies going to buy or fetch something, meaning to go get or buy coffee. 3. To notice or become aware of something. Example. Did you guys pick up on that? Pick up refers to noticing or becoming aware of information or a situation. It can also be used in questions like when did you pick up on that? 4. To learn a language or skill informally. Example. I picked up some English. Pick up signifies learning a language or skill informally implying acquiring a certain level of proficiency in English. 5. To acquire a habit or behavior, often unintentionally. Example. Bad habit, I picked up. Here, pick up means unintentionally acquiring a bad habit or behavior, indicating the obtaining of a negative habit. Makeup. Makeup involves various actions depending on the context, including creating, Forming, reconciling, inventing, applying cosmetics, compensating, or composing. More detailed explanation. 1. To compose or form. Example. She likes to make up stories. In this context, makeup means to create or compose stories or events. 2. To compensate or replace. Example. I missed the meeting, but I'll make it up tomorrow. Here, makeup implies compensating or replacing something that was missed. 3. To apply cosmetics. Example. She takes a long time to make up in the morning. In this case, makeup refers to applying cosmetics. 4. To reconcile or become friends again. Example. After the argument, they decided to make up. In the context of resolving conflicts, Makeup means reconciling or becoming friends again. Makeup can have the following meanings. 1. Makeup class. A makeup class refers to an additional session conducted to supplement a class missed by someone. In this context, makeup implies substituting or supplementing a missed portion. 2. Let me make it up to you. The expression let me make it up to you signifies making amends or compensating for a mistake or shortfall. In this context, 
It involves making an effort to compensate or offset something for someone else. 3. Lunch is my treat. I want to make it up to you. In the sentence lunch is my treat, I want to make it up to you, the phrase make it up to you is used when someone wants to compensate or make amends by treating the other person. In this case, it means offering a meal as a gesture of compensation or reward. From now on, I'll read each sentence of today's story. Listen carefully and try to follow along. I appreciate the company you provide during our team meetings. I appreciate the company you provide during our team meetings. I appreciate the company you provide during our team meetings. I dislike his company. I dislike his company. I dislike his company. He's always so negative. He's always so negative. He's always so negative. Does she often keep you company during lunch? Does she often keep you company during lunch? Does she often keep you company during lunch? Yesterday, he kept me company while I was working late. Yesterday, he kept me company while I was working late. Yesterday, he kept me company while I was working late. She never kept him company during the long hours at the office. She never kept him company during the long hours at the office. She never kept him company during the long hours at the office. Did they keep you company at the event last night? Did they keep you company at the event last night? Did they keep you company at the event last night? Next week, we will have the pleasure of your company at the conference. Next week, we will have the pleasure of your company at the conference. Next week, we will have the pleasure of your company at the conference. I don't think I will enjoy their company at the upcoming gathering. I don't think I will enjoy their company at the upcoming gathering. I don't think I will enjoy their company at the upcoming gathering. Will you keep me company at the networking event tomorrow? Will you keep me company at the networking event tomorrow? Will you keep me company at the networking event tomorrow? You can always seek my company whenever you need support. You can always seek my company whenever you need support. You can always seek my company whenever you need support. You shouldn't have his company. You shouldn't have his company. You shouldn't have his company. He tends to be unreliable. He tends to be unreliable. He tends to be unreliable. Can I join you for lunch and keep you company? Can I join you for lunch and keep you company? Can I join you for lunch and keep you company? He always picks me up at 900 sharp without fail. He always picks me up at 900 sharp without fail. He always picks me up at 900 sharp without fail. 
I don't like how he picks up his clothes and leaves them on the floor. I don't like how he picks up his clothes and leaves them on the floor. I don't like how he picks up his clothes and leaves them on the floor. Do you usually pick up groceries on your way home? Do you usually pick up groceries on your way home? Do you usually pick up groceries on your way home? Yesterday, I picked up a new skill during the workshop. Yesterday, I picked up a new skill during the workshop. Yesterday, I picked up a new skill during the workshop. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up on the subtle hints they were giving. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up on the subtle hints they were giving. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up on the subtle hints they were giving. When did you pick up on the fact that they were not interested? When did you pick up on the fact that they were not interested? When did you pick up on the fact that they were not interested? Tomorrow, I will pick up the keys to the new apartment. Tomorrow, I will pick up the keys to the new apartment. Tomorrow, I will pick up the keys to the new apartment. I don't think he will pick up the tab for dinner tonight. I don't think he will pick up the tab for dinner tonight. I don't think he will pick up the tab for dinner tonight. Will you pick me up from the airport next week? Will you pick me up from the airport next week? Will you pick me up from the airport next week? You can always pick up extra hours if you need more income. You can always pick up extra hours if you need more income. You can always pick up extra hours if you need more income. You shouldn't pick up someone else's belongings without permission. You shouldn't pick up someone else's belongings without permission. You shouldn't pick up someone else's belongings without permission. Can you pick up some snacks on your way home? Can you pick up some snacks on your way home? Can you pick up some snacks on your way home? She always makes up for her mistakes by working extra hard. She always makes up for her mistakes by working extra hard. She always makes up for her mistakes by working extra hard. He never makes up for his tardiness, and it's becoming a problem. He never makes up for his tardiness, and it's becoming a problem. He never makes up for his tardiness, and it's becoming a problem. Do you often make up excuses for being late? Do you often make up excuses for being late? Do you often make up excuses for being late? Last week, she made up the missed lecture by attending the makeup class. Last week, she made up the missed lecture by attending the makeup class. 
Last week, she made up the missed lecture by attending the makeup class. Unfortunately, he didn't make up for the lost time and fell behind in the project. Unfortunately, he didn't make up for the lost time and fell behind in the project. Unfortunately, he didn't make up for the lost time and fell behind in the project. Did you make up with your friend after the disagreement? Did you make up with your friend after the disagreement? Did you make up with your friend after the disagreement? Tomorrow, I will make up for the cancelled meeting by rescheduling it. Tomorrow, I will make up for the cancelled meeting by rescheduling it. Tomorrow, I will make up for the cancelled meeting by rescheduling it. I don't think he will make up for the missed deadline. I don't think he will make up for the missed deadline. I don't think he will make up for the missed deadline. Will you make up the work you missed during the vacation? Will you make up the work you missed during the vacation? Will you make up the work you missed during the vacation? You can always make up for a bad day by doing something you enjoy. You can always make up for a bad day by doing something you enjoy. You can always make up for a bad day by doing something you enjoy. You shouldn't make up stories to cover up your mistakes. You shouldn't make up stories to cover up your mistakes. You shouldn't make up stories to cover up your mistakes. Can I make up for the inconvenience by offering you a discount? Can I make up for the inconvenience by offering you a discount? Can I make up for the inconvenience by offering you a discount? Let's listen to the story again. Listen carefully. 1. Company Present tense Positive I appreciate the company you provide during our team meetings. Negative I dislike his company he's always so negative. Question Does she often keep you company during lunch? Past tense Positive Yesterday, he kept me company while I was working late. Negative. She never kept him company during the long hours at the office. Question. Did they keep you company at the event last night? Future tense. Positive. Next week, we will have the pleasure of your company at the conference. Negative. I don't think I will enjoy their company at the upcoming gathering. Question. Will you keep me company at the networking event tomorrow? Use of modal verbs. Positive. You can always seek my company whenever you need support. Negative. You shouldn't have his company he tends to be unreliable. Question. Can I join you for lunch and keep you company? 2. Pick up. Present tense. Positive. He always picks me up at 900 sharp, without fail. Negative. I don't like how he picks up his clothes and leaves them on the floor. Question. Do you usually pick up groceries on your way home? Past tense. Positive. Yesterday, I picked up a new skill during the workshop. Negative. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up on the subtle hints they were giving. 
Question. When did you pick up on the fact that they were not interested? Future tense. Positive. Tomorrow, I will pick up the keys to the new apartment. Negative. I don't think he will pick up the tab for dinner tonight. Question. Will you pick me up from the airport next week? Use of modal verbs. Positive. You can always pick up extra hours if you need more income. Negative. You shouldn't pick up someone else's belongings without permission. Question. Can you pick up some snacks on your way home? 3. Make up. Present tense. Positive. She always makes up for her mistakes by working extra hard. Negative. He never makes up for his tardiness, and it's becoming a problem. Question. Do you often make up excuses for being late? Past tense. Positive. Last week, she made up the missed lecture by attending the makeup class. Negative. Unfortunately, he didn't make up for the lost time and fell behind in the project. Question. Did you make up with your friend after the disagreement? Future tense. Positive. Tomorrow, I will make up for the cancelled meeting by rescheduling it. Negative. I don't think he will make up for the missed deadline. Question. Will you make up the work you missed during the vacation? Use of modal verbs. Positive. You can always make up for a bad day by doing something you enjoy. Negative. You shouldn't make up stories to cover up your mistakes. Question. Can I make up for the inconvenience by offering you a discount? Today, I practiced making sentences using five words. Try practicing making sentences yourself regularly. You'll notice your English skills improving day by day. Stay tuned for daily exercises and let's make learning English an awesome experience. See you in the next video.